he's eating health, healthy right till the end. You want to be healthy when you go to hell. <laughs> <laughs>
I want to go to Egypt. You know, I've, I've watched so many documentaries on Egypt and just never been. My friend just went on a whole tour, taking pictures from inside uh, the pyramids and it looks incredible. You know, it's, fa it's really interesting to hear you say this because that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Egypt is, is something, ever since a kid I've been fascinated with the pyramids and all of that, all of that. I just think it's, yeah, we mm -hmm. should go sometime. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. We should tour there. That'd be great. Yeah. Awesome. My last meal is Benihana. That's, <laughs> that's my place. Just a big vat of uncooked cookie, just cookie dough and Benihana meal. I'm good. Some dal makhani, some naan, maybe some chicken tikka. I'm not sure what dal makhani is. It's Indian food. Yeah. yeah it's I lentils. love Indian food. I just never had dal yeah, makhani. It'd be between that and some good sushi. He's eating health, healthy right till the end. You want to be healthy when you go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Uh, this, <laughs> this sucks. I have to tell this story. It's the only time I went to the principal's office. I was having a talk one day with a girl who was sitting next to me in the fourth grade. And we got in a conversation about how, who's tougher, boys or girls? And I was just like, well, boys are tougher than girls. And I just was like, that's just, that's just like a law. I don't know, what did I know? Yeah, boys are tougher Sexist than girls. Sexist pig. Yeah, exactly, right? And uh, she's like, well, that's not true. And tomorrow, I want you to meet me out on the, on the soccer field and uh, me and my friend are gonna kick your ass. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think she said it quite like that, but to paraphrase. So I was like, well shoot, okay. So we go out on the soccer field and these two girls proceed to kick my ass. Now here's the problem, is that I was taught not to ever hit, hit a girl. And I don't, you just don't do that. So what I realized in the, in the, in the during the exchange was like, I'm literally like, I'm completely, at a loss here because all they can do is just hit on me and I just have to just kind of curl up in a ball and they're by this point they're hitting me they're kicking me and I'm, I'm like okay ear. I'm sorry Pulling no well that kind that's gonna come and 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 <laughs> and so all the kids are coming and they're laughing at me and they're going go beat up miles and they're beating me up and I'm like I can't win this fight it's just it's done and the worst part is is then all of a sudden this teacher the, who's supervising the recess comes up and He's like, he starts screaming at me, not screaming at the girls who are beating me up, but he's screaming at me and he pulls me by the ear <laughs> to the principal's <laughs> office <laughs> and I got in trouble. And the girls, I remember we all stood against the wall waiting for the principal and then the principal uh, brought us into the room and, and we explained what happened. And I think the principal in the end thought it was funny because then he called my, my, my stepdad and so later that day, I get picked up at the bus stop by my dad and he can't keep, he can't, he can't not laugh. He just starts like chuckling. So you went to the principal's office today, like laughing because I just got beat up by two girls. And this that is like was like when you were 17, right? No, I wasn't 17. I was in the fourth grade. I had a lot to learn, but, but yeah, that was the, that was the only time I ever went to the principal's office was when uh, Heather and, and, and Christy beat me up. Yeah. I've really laid it out for you all today. I feel like we, this has been like, this has been like therapy. This interview. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. Guitar playing. <laughs> Probably, I would love to be an architect. I think that would be to like know how to do that. To be an expert at designing buildings would be so cool, yeah. But I'm shitty at math, so it'll never happen. <laughs> I, I love modernism. I love, I love the things that were happening uh, really post-World War II there. There's a 20, 20, about 30 year stretch there, which I thought was really cool, really interesting. I think I'd like to be a director, be a badass director. You know, it's kind of like uh, when you're a songwriter, being able to create, being able to create visuals would be, would be great. I was one of the, I think the, one of the last people to see this film. Everybody has seen this movie. I mean, I finally saw it just a few nights ago. I had a day off in a hotel and it, it did not disappoint. I 
Avatar. I finally saw Avatar, and I have such a crush on that blue woman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's just something about the whole thing. It was, no, it was great. Why don't you be Avatar for Halloween? That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I won't need, the, they had those ears naturally. <laughs> Best Looney Tunes character by far was uh, Yosemite Sam. Yeah, I agree. He's, he's just swagger. Hilarious. He's hilarious. Yeah, um, he's just, he's cocky as hell yeah. and says what he wants to say. And although I do really like, I will neutralize you with my ray gun, <laughs> Marvin the Martian. That's a great one. That's a great one.